Hello, happy Sunday. Jesse McDougall here with the Martial Arts of Money, doing another book review uh, to spit out some wisdom to the internet. And this is, I must say, this is my third attempt of doing this book review. Uh, my cam studio keeps recording weird sound when I'm recording, so now I'm just uh, bringing this up on my cell phone. Uh, if anyone can help with cam studio, let me know. Anyways. The book is driven by Robert Herjavec. I read this book about five years ago, I think, and it's like great. Um, this book is for business people. If you don't want to deal with entrepreneurship and you don't want to deal with money, don't read this book. Um, if you're an upcoming entrepreneur, if you have any aspirations of achieving anything in the business world, listen to this guy. Read this book. If you're a business tycoon or a Mongol already, you probably met this guy or heard of this guy. Uh, he's on the Dragon's Den, popular TV show, Robert Herjavec. Um, just going to read his, the inside jacket here about him. Uh, check out this picture too, it's pretty cool. It's him with a nice Lambo in the back. Um, anyways, Robert Herjavec launched one of the first internet companies that provided corporations with internet security systems, selling the business to AT&T for a hundred million. hundred millies. Uh, his other ventures included the sale of Silicon Valley based technology company to Nokia for 225 million. Yeah, 225 million. Now, this is like when the internet first came out in whatever the nineties or early 2000s I'm not sure on the, the exact dates but a lot of people say and I've actually felt this way you know oh you know he saw this opportunity coming ahead of his time and you know those days are gone well no no they're not um, the internet economy is an entire economy it's only been around 15 years I'm more than qualified to me being a designated accountant with a business degree I'm more than qualified to say that no there's insane amount of opportunities the internet economy is still in its infancy stages um, there are so many opportunities even for me i know so many ways to make money online but you can only do so many things right you can't be an expert in everything so it's uh it's mind-blowing mind-blowing um, but what i wanted to say about uh robert herjavec oh i want to back up i said that comment about the internet economy because Keep going. All the digital marketers out there, all the upcoming entrepreneurs in the internet, just keep going. Just mail through it. Do whatever you got to do. Just uh, just keep going. Uh, when you're laying a brick, you don't look at building the whole. Or when you look at building a wall, you don't look at building the whole wall. That'll defeat you. Like I've climbed a few mountains and I look at the top and I'm like, oh, you just do one foot at a time, one brick at a time. The course of five years, ten years goes by, you're like, oh wow, I set myself up for life. Okay, that's great. It's just a lot of work. Anyways, let's get back to Robert. Um, the one thing I wanted to mention about him, what really tracks me to him is uh, on the Dragon's End, if you look at, uh, just as comparison, Kevin O'Leary and Robert, who I'm a huge Kevin O'Leary fan, huge, I've read all his books. Um, but he's like visceral, he's like aggressive, he's rude, he's like nasty you just see the viciousness in him right and that's totally cool i'm not saying that's a bad thing it just it is what it is um i've studied money so much back to the 2000 years back to the early roman days and wars it's through greed and that what it does to 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 humans it's very uh yeah you know a lot can be understood about humans knowing the greed and money um, but then if you look at so we, Kevin O'Leary for example he'll like just rip people apart he'll argue with the other people on the panel and you know he's just creating kind of controversy right but he's also on a show you need to get ratings up so uh, that's one of his thoughts uh, there but then Robert on the other hand I find he's more laid back um, he's not I haven't seen him arguing with people and getting visceral and getting nasty. I never saw that like mean anger side from him. Now, again, the martial arts of money. If 
my logo has an angel in it, like a jacked angel. Because like, you ever seen a jacked angel guarding the, the gates of heaven? With a golden breastplate, 12 foot wingspan, seven foot great sword. Yeah, I don't wanna mess with that guy. So I learned from Art Williams, you can be good and tough at the same time. So one of the reasons why I resonate with uh, Robert is because he just seems like a good person. I don't know him. That's me judging. Uh, but I do have a friend that has met him, has played poker with him, and my friend's a cop. He's not like some you know, business guru kind of guy. Uh, they're both Croatian, so that's where they uh, that's where they got connected, I guess. But um, yeah, he said Robert's just a normal guy. He's just, just a total bro playing poker one night. No big deal. It wasn't huge money. Just wearing regular jeans. And uh, yeah, he couldn't believe it. So I like the more laid back. Because, I mean, you got the money, you're a boss, you can do whatever you want. But I like the more laid back approach because, I don't know, I just think it's more righteousness that way. As opposed to being evil and the vicious side. That's more like anger and black energy, if you will. It's kind of like the, the Buddhist. Uh, anyways, yeah, I'm going to recommend this book, 5 out of 5. Must read for sure. Um, I just, just like this, the way the guy is. He just looks at... And he was an immigrant into Canada, I believe, from Croatia. So it started with from nothing. So he's first generation wealth. Um, I just really like his whole philosophies. Uh, this is someone that, you know, I aspire to be in the same realm as him. You know, the business realm, um, and keeping your same ethics. It takes a lifetime to build a reputation, but only an instant to wreck it. Remember that. Don't let the money go to your head. Digital markers. When you make money, you work twice as hard to protect your money. It's one thing you're not going to read in too many, uh, too many books, or I haven't heard that many people say. When you get your money, and in my internet marketing, there's a lot of money. You get your first money, you kind of started to graduate the first phase. Then you move into the second phase. It's protecting your money. Because as fast as it comes in, it can go even faster. Have a happy day. Robert Herjavec, Driven. Uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel and uh, ask any more questions. Getting a few comments so far and emails. Thanks so much and uh, take care. Hope you got some value out of this book, this podcast.